Hey space enthusiasts, today we're diving into the mind-blowing discoveries made by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. This incredible piece of technology is revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey to some of the most extraordinary worlds ever discovered. Let's start our exploration with LHS 1000, 140 bits, a super Earth that's got astronomers buzzing with excitement. This planet, located in the constellation Cetus, is about six times more massive than Earth. Now, when it was first discovered in 2017, scientists thought it was just another mini-Neptune with a thick atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. But here's where things get interesting. When the James Webb Space Telescope took a closer look, it revealed something astonishing. Instead of that thick hydrogen-helium atmosphere, Webb found that LHS 1000, 140 bits has an atmosphere rich in nitrogen, just like Earth's. This discovery immediately catapulted LHS 1000, 140 bits to the top of the list for potential habitability. But it gets even better. Given its size and composition, scientists believe LHS 1000, 140 bits could have massive oceans of liquid water, potentially even larger than Earth's. And where there's liquid water and a nitrogen-rich atmosphere, there's a good chance we might find life. There's one quirk that makes LHS 1000, 140 bits particularly fascinating. It's tightly locked to its red dwarf star, meaning one side always faces the star while the other remains in perpetual darkness. This creates a unique eyeball appearance, with the side facing the star potentially having a large ocean, while the dark side might be covered in ice. Imagine the bizarre life forms that could evolve in such an environment. Next up, we have a system that's like hitting the jackpot in the search for habitable worlds. Astronomers at the University of Street, Andrews used Webb to discover not one, not two, but three super-Earths orbiting a nearby orange dwarf star, just 55 light years away from us. What makes this discovery so exciting is that the third planet in this system sits right in the habitable zone. That sweet spot where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist on the surface. These planets have masses ranging from 5 to 11 times that of Earth, putting them in the perfect range for potential habitability. But here's the kicker. The star these planets orbit is an orange dwarf, which is much more stable than the red dwarfs we often find hosting potentially habitable planets. Red dwarfs are known for their violent flares that could strip away a planet's atmosphere over time. Orange dwarfs, on the other hand, are the Goldilocks of stars. Not too hot, not too cold, and not too prone to deadly outbursts. This stability gives any life that might emerge on these planets a much better chance of surviving and evolving over long periods. It's like finding a calm, sheltered bay in the stormy sea of the cosmos. Now let's shift gears and talk about a planet that's redefining what we thought we knew about gas giants. Meet Epsilon Indy AB, a gas giant planet located just 12 light years away from Earth. Webb captured a direct image of this planet, which is an incredible feat in itself. But what's truly mind-boggling is its temperature. Despite being dubbed the coldest exoplanet found to date, Epsilon Indy AB is surprisingly warm at 35 degrees Fahrenheit, 1.7 degrees Celsius. That's about 180 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than Jupiter. This moderate temperature opens up some intriguing possibilities. It means that clouds of gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and carbon monoxide could potentially form in its atmosphere. And here's where it gets really interesting. These gases are some of the key ingredients that could potentially support life. Now, we're not saying there are aliens floating around in the clouds of Epsilon Indy AB, but this discovery shows us that even in places we might have previously written off as too cold or inhospitable, the conditions for life might be more favorable than we thought. It's a reminder that we need to keep an open mind as we search for life beyond Earth. Just when you thought the universe couldn't get any weirder, along come the zombie planets of NGC 1333. Located in a star cluster about 960 light years away, Webb has discovered a family of six planet-sized objects that defy our understanding of how planets form. These zombie planets are essentially failed stars. They form the way stars do, from the collapse of clouds of gas and dust, but they didn't quite make it to stardom. They're too small to sustain the nuclear fusion that powers stars, yet too big to be considered typical planets. They're cosmic misfits, 
wandering through the galaxy without a star to call home. What's even more bizarre is that the smallest of these zombie planets might be in the process of forming its own tiny solar system. Imagine that, a planet-sized object with its own orbiting worlds. Now, the chances of finding life on these zombie planets are pretty slim. They're cold, dark, and lack a stable energy source. But their discovery opens up a whole new category of celestial objects for us to study. They challenge our definitions of what a planet is and show us that the universe is far more diverse and strange than we ever imagined. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the GJ-667C system. Located just 23 light years away in the constellation Scorpius, this system is a treasure trove of potentially habitable worlds. The star at the center of this system, GJ-667C, is a red dwarf, smaller and cooler than our sun. But don't let its small size fool you. This little star is punching well above its weight when it comes to hosting potentially habitable planets. Scientists have identified at least three, and possibly up to six, super-Earths orbiting GJ-667C. What's more, three or four of these planets are thought to be in the star's habitable zone. That's right, we're looking at a system that could host multiple Earth-like worlds, all in our cosmic backyard. If you're as excited about these discoveries as I am, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest findings from the James Webb Space Telescope and other groundbreaking space missions. The next big discovery could be just around the corner.